Hi everyone. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is I made this um, a while back. My clock. Uh, it was the first time I did it, and I, I wasn't quite happy with it. Uh, but I had to wait to get some more of the clocks in, so I've managed to do that. Now, what you need, if you're going to do it, is a piece of round chipboard, of course. You do need the workings. Uh, and you can get these um, at every craft's a pound. So you get that for a pound and you get that for a pound. I've chosen some vintage stamps, or a selection of stamps that I might use. So you need all different ones, because you want a little bit of everything. Some paint, because I'm going to be picking, the, uh, picking this painting this pink. I'm also going to use a bit of white, so I'm just going to get the white down. So I don't want it that um, light. I want to lighten it a little bit more. Um, of course you want some paintbrushes and some inks. So let's just, uh, let's just start it, see how we get on, okay? I'm just going to move the stamp out of the way because I do use my glass top for paint. <laughs> it's easy to clean. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to coat this with a, a pink first. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually just going to add a touch of white to this. I can never ever get these lids off properly. keep some of these wipes handy. Have a drink. <laughs> oh lovely. I, I'm going to help that along with the dryer. I'm clean my brush and put that away because I don't like to leave them too long soaking. And so what I'm going to do first is um, I want to put like a crackle effect on it, but not yet. What I'm going to do is start off uh, by stamping. Now, I have this one with the birds on and it's also got the postmark script. So I'm going to use that, I think. It's a postmark script that I'm after. Let me get my, uh, my blocks. I, I need new blocks. That's what I need to buy. They're absolutely awful. <laughs> and hopefully we can get this uh, just right. Now what I'm going to use for this one um, 
is the frayed burlap. Okay, so I'm just going to take hold of that one. And... Uh, Because I don't want it dark. Dark, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to put my stamp here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And it doesn't have to be perfect. See, I've got that. It's not dark at all. And then I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it down here. Like that. And it just looks like postcard, and I like that. So we'll just pop that one back. Um, and then I've got this, which I'm also going to use but use a different ink oops I do find it easy to name all of mine on the outside and then turn them upside down uh, now wait a minute because I want the perfect medium first let's take that off Want to make sure I've got all of that done. And I'm going to need my tray. And hopefully, if I can get it right, let me just see. Whoops, a daisy. I'm going to use the luster one, which is the Cosmic Shimmer embossing powder, Tropic Pearl Luster. And I know a lot of you bought that. So let me just make sure, yeah, this is the top. Now I'm not going to put it completely on. I'm going to put it to one side. Like that, and very quickly. Oops, a daisy. Oh, look. I'm dropping everything. Stay on there. <laughs> uh, very quickly, pop that on. And just cover that with the like that. Move that out of the way. And I'm also going to do it again, but on this side. Slightly higher up. Okay, and then take my pearl luster again. Make sure I've got plenty on there. Pop that out of the way. And I'm going to dry those. Yeah. Not dry them, emboss them, should I say, sorry.
Right, and I'm just going to leave them for a minute <coughs> because I do want to just brush them slightly. I'm just filming. Right, Ray's just going to pick the uh, granddaughters up, my granddaughters up, so they'll be up shortly. I'll just swap this over. I'll put this back, shall I say, just while that's cooling down. So I've got the grandsons here and the granddaughters. It's going to be bedlam. <laughs> but never mind. Right, um, I've just got a, a soft brush here. Uh, and all I'm going to do is just give that a brush over, just to take off the um, excess powder that isn't attached to anything. And as you can see, it's already starting to look shabby chic. Hope you can see that look. It's just, it's gorgeous. In fact, I'm going uh, to be honest. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do one here because that's not enough for me. I'm going to do it again. Uh, just on the end. Okay. Let me take my uh, embossing ink. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it over slightly here. Like that. Plus, I'm going to take that and do that there. Because I just think it uh, really does look nice. And then... Oops, a daisy. Take my little spoon. And spoon on. There. like that. That was my great grandmother's made from bone. <laughs> well there you go, don't waste anything. Okie dokie, we're just going to uh, emboss that now. Let's move that out of the way so we can see. I mean, it is a Tropic Pearl Lustre. It's gorgeous colour and real shabby chic. And I do sell them in my store, but at the moment I've not got any in. I am putting an order in this month. really pretty do like that so we'll just leave that to cool down and then I'll brush that yes I do like that yep just let that cool and give that a brush lovely so I hope you can see what I've done isn't that gorgeous already uh, and then what I'm going to do is to start stamping now I'm not quite sure although I've put the uh, thing on I want the Paris one uh, and what I think I ought to do is clean it oh dear look because I do use it well I'm going to use the brown anyway so I'm not going to clean it that much let me just uh, move that I'll pop that on there oh you don't need to do you no so I always forget, but I do like to actually use them on the, these blocks, not that you need to. Um, and then what I'm going to use is the Victorian Velvet. Hopefully, we will be able to see this as well. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I'm going to put that, 
So I'm going to put mine here. Yes. Yeah, that's gone on. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm also, let me get this back in my pot. Well, that's wet. Hopefully, I'm going to put this on as well. Okay, so let's lift that up and just tip that all over it. Okay, remove that. Take the dryer. Because remember, this is a shabby sheet clock. Try not to melt my <laughs> uh, the stamp bags because they melt if they get too close to this heat. And with these, you can put on exactly what you want to put on. It doesn't matter. So let that cool down. And while that's cooling down, I'm just going to pop this back in to the pot. But I do love this embossing powder. It's really nice. I'm just going to leave that a minute and pop my stamps away. Make sure I've got the right one. Yep. Yeah. I may use that one again, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is um, I want this bird. This is the bird I'm after. I shall remove that one. And I'll pop this one on that side, I think. And again, using the same stamp, uh, the ink. I'm going to pop my bird right there. Yeah, and then take hold of my tray. I mean, you can do these any way you want. It doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. It's yours. Just brush that away. And then dry that. Let it emboss that. Let me just make sure that was uh, <sighs> See how it's building up? We're building it up bit by bit. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm also going to use a stamp, which is um, like a postmark stamp. There we go. I think 
we just have one slight edge there because uh, you need to put some coming off the edges as well right what I'm going to do is just tip this back like that take hold of your clock Okay, pop that back up there, move that out of the way. Okay, let's set that one going. Just going to move the bird stamp now. And put that back. Into there. Um, and then I've got a bit of script. So all I'm going to do with the script is, let me just see, this is a script stamp, I know you don't need to have it uh, onto anything. Um, uh, and I'm never ever quite sure which way this goes, but hopefully I've got it right, I hope. I hate to think I've got it upside down. I think that's upside down. Well, here it goes. We'll find out. That's it. You know, that's all I'm going to do is to... It's just to put some script in. Like that. You don't need a lot. I've just gone skew iffy with that. I didn't look to see what he was doing. So un it doesn't matter because the thing will go underneath it. Um, on top of it, which is a mechanism. So fortunately that doesn't matter. And it's just to add your script. Whenever you want it. I like the idea of having my script. I could have put it on first. But I didn't want the embossing powders to, you know, connect with that because I'll be drying this off shortly. And I'm just adding scripts wherever I can, wherever I see it needs, actually. Yeah. Um, the thing is with script stamps, you don't want to be adding too much you can just do little sections that's what I'm saying like that um, I'm quite happy with that actually yeah um, now I am going to be doing something that will just slightly darken that that's like a background uh, and when I can find it there we are this is a stamp that I actually, oops, if I can get into the packet. Oh, let me just cut this one. So 
hopefully we can get this finished. I'm com I'm going to come back anyway because it'll need filming um, a little bit more. Because uh, I have to get hubby to do the centre. I can't do them. They drive me nuts. <laughs> um, now I do have another one that's pinkish. Right, we're back now. Uh, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I've cut these uh, pictures out, the vintage pictures. I've got a butterfly here. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm now going to use the Tropic Pearl Luster onto that. I'm just going to quickly press that on and soak it and you'll see why in a minute <clears throat> okay so just see how far we get with that take the tray cover that completely with the powder let me just get my tweezers um, I want to grab it by the tail bit really pop that onto there because it might need a couple of um, I'm going to show you what I've done I had to go off because of, of the filming but I'm going to show you what I've done with uh, the clock my hubby's put the workings on it for me now I don't think I'm going to do it any more have well, a look at that. Just maybe heat that up a little bit more, actually. Actually, I might just pop that back in uh, straight away. If it'll go into it. I like that. Just click onto as much as possible. Not quite got that in time, but there's enough on there now. Yeah, that's fine when that melts. Beautiful. Love that. Just let that cool a minute. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I do have somewhere, which I think they're here. I'm not sure if there's any pink left. Probably not. What colour is that? But we have white and that will do. That will be fine. I think I'll probably get a couple of those on. I was going to put pink on. I'm, well, I might, do you know what? Actually, let me just see. Because I might just um, clear away first. My lid on because I always lose my lids on that uh, tray. Right, I'll just move that. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic colours? I'll just pop that back underneath. I keep it handy there so that I know where it is. Um, right, what I'm going to do, I think, is add a rose. We'll, we'll add a rose to that. But um, I only need, a, uh, I might get two small ones actually. Two of these tiny ones. Like that. And I think that's what I'll do. Just pop that on. That just keeps that shabby chic going. Beautiful. Love that. So I hope you can see what I've done. Just ignore that on the glass. It will come off. Clean that off later. So you can see what I've done. Uh, now what I'm going to show you is what I did do. Let me just put those back. I got a hubby to put the clock facing on. 
and I've taken the mechan the battery out at the moment. I've added a layer of thin a uh, small lace and there that's in pink and then this one in white. So that's what I've done. Now what I'm going to do is attach the pictures. And I aren't bothered where they go. Uh, when I say that, I'm not bothered which picture goes where. Yes, and that, and I'm going to put the, um, I'm not painting the handles, I was going to, but then I thought, no, because everybody will do that, I don't want mine to be the same as everybody else's. Have I put that in back to, <laughs> no, in me. <laughs> Well, yeah, of course I did. What I'm going to do first, what I am going to do, is to attach the butterfly. Uh, just to uh, let you see, I did actually change it. It was too much on the end of there, so I've now put the butterfly on the middle. And uh, um, it's spinning round like clockwork. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.